Hi guys, and welcome back to another Kiru video. In today's episode, I'm gonna be telling you all about the new Phil Melrose Stroker that's been added to the Phil Star range. So enough waffling from me, let's get into the video. Hi guys, I'm UK Daz as always. And as I said at the start of the video, I will be telling you today all about the Phil Melrose Stroker from Kiru. Like all my review videos, I'm going to give you a quick unboxing to show you what you get when you buy the Stroker. And I'm going to give you my review at the end of the video. Enough waffling from me, let's get into the unboxing video. As you can see, there are no labels on the outside of the box saying what the toy is inside. However, there is a shipping label, but that doesn't mention the toy brand. Inside our box is our Phil Melrose Stroker. Like all Phil Star toys, this one is also compatible with the Power Blow by Kiru. On the back of the box is a statement from Kiru saying what to expect from the Phil Melrose Stroker. The picture on the front of the box is of Melrose Michael herself. And on the final side is the pattern that's inside the Stroker sleeve. When we open up the box there is a protector that stops the stroker from wobbling around inside the box and this is also where you would attach the Kiru power blow. Remove the cardboard insert and unscrew the top and your power blow will screw straight on top. By also removing the lid it makes it easier to clean. Now when it comes to opening the sleeve end you don't need to twist it off all you need to do is give it a gentle squeeze. What I am really impressed with both the Kiru toys that I've received that they are extremely soft to the touch. To remove the sleeve from the case all you need to do is take a firm grip and pull it out. As you can see the sleeve is extremely flexible. Once you're done cleaning your sleeve all you need to do is drop it back into the casing. Give the sleeve a slight squeeze and push it into the case making sure that it fits into the groove that runs around the top. This creates almost like an airtight seal. What I'm going to show you next is the pattern that runs along the inside of the sleeve. So I'm going to take it out and I'm going to show you it from the rear and I'm going to show you it from the front. Now in this part of the video you can't really see them that well but they are there and I'll give you a much better view later in the video during the review. I'll quickly spin the sleeve around and show you it from the inside at the front. As you can see from the front there is lots of lumps and bumps running through the middle. These lumps and bumps change their direction midway through the toy and they revert back again for the final third. If you have enjoyed this video so far please do hit that like and subscribe button and if you have been inspired to buy the Phil Melrose Stroker then there is a link in the description below. So there you have it that's what you get when you buy the Phil Melrose Stroker from Kiru. So a few of you might be wondering who Melrose Michaels is. Like a lot of the other Phil Star models Melrose was a webcam model so there's some hope for me yet and as her popularity grew her following followed. She now has tens of thousands of followers on Instagram and Twitter, and she's also got an OnlyFans. But she has also started her own business and is helping other cam models. So that's like a double tick box for me. I might actually get my bum hole made into a stroker yet. So a little about the sleeve. It measures 22 centimeters long, and it has a diameter of eight centimeters. As you can see, it's made of super soft TPE. Now each Phil Star Stroker has its own unique pattern inside. And this is the second I've tried. The last one was the Phil Dainty, which had suction cups on the inside. The Phil Melrose has some folded ribbons, which kind of makes no sense, but I'll show you what they are. So if I partially turn the sleeve inside out, you can see along the side there, these ribbons that are running along the inside of the toy. Now these ribbons, as I call them, run the entire length of the sleeve, but they change direction in the middle portion. The toy in the sleeve combined weighs in at 800 grams. Like all Phil Star Strokers, you can connect the Phil Melrose to the Power Blow by Kiru. To do that, all you need to do is unscrew the base of the toy. And it's also fully compatible with the Kiru Kian. Now the Power Blow adds a sucking motion to all your strokers. And the Kiru Kian turns all your strokers into automatic ones. You can find links for both of these in the description below. Both the Power Blow and the Kiru Kian can be connected to the Feel Connect app. If you want to see how to use that, then you can watch this video, I think, here. 
and they can be connected to the Filmy AI platform, which are videos that are coming up in the next couple of weeks. So make sure to hit that subscribe button. So what did I think about the Phil Melrose Stroker? I actually really enjoyed this one, and I know I said that with the Phil Dainty, but this one has a lot more texture inside. I did have to go big on lube again, like I said in the last video, but the texture inside this one is more pronounced. So all those little bumps and lumps are like double the size of the last one. When Kiru decided to make one on me, this is going to be the best. Out of the two strokers that Kiru have sent me so far, which was the Dainty Wilder and the Phil Melrose, this one, which is the Phil Melrose, is the better one for me. I'm not saying that the Phil Dainty wasn't very good. All I'm saying is that the texture inside this one, for me personally, was much better. Hopefully, I've inspired you to buy a Phil Melrose stroker. If I have, then there is a link in the description below that takes you to my website. This link is an affiliate link. It doesn't cost you any more to use, but it does give me a very small percentage of Kiru's profits if you choose to buy something. If you have found this video useful, please do hit that like and subscribe button. And if you've got any comments, please leave them in the comments box below on my blog or come and find me on social media. All those links are also listed in the description below. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.